The difference between the 999 plan and the other plans that are being proposed is that they pivot off of the existing tax code. We've had an outside firm, independent firm, All right. dynamically score it, and so our numbers will make it revenue neutral. Bloomberg's government analysis team did that number crunching on Kane's plan, and because all the candidates had a chance last night to respond to criticism, we needed to give our own guys a chance to respond to Kane. Stephen Sloan is with us from our Washington headquarters. So, Stephen, tell us why Herman Kane is wrong, saying that we're wrong. Well, we're basically left flying blind here. Uh, Herman Cain has said this about almost every uh, analysis that he's been presented with about his uh, his 999 plan, that it doesn't make the right assumptions. Well, the problem is that we haven't really seen the assumptions that he's using. He hasn't uh, been very specific with what he's looking at. Uh, he has developed, he says he has his own internal uh, revenue estimate that's been developed independently. He hasn't shared that, though, with anybody, and, and we've, we've asked for it, but we haven't seen it. Until we do see something along those lines, we're kind of left looking at what we know about his plan, what he said publicly about his plan, and we can basically do some arithmetic based on that, looking at some publicly available data, which is what we did. So, Stephen, uh, you know, given the fact that he says our analysis is incorrect, can we at all give him the benefit of the doubt? If you look at the assumptions we made in order to come up with our own $2 trillion figure, is there, uh, you know, a, a margin for error, if you will, of 10 percent that allows him to get to $2.2 well, there's definitely a margin of error, but the way we looked at it, it seemed like two trillion was the most that you were going to get out of this plan. Um, you know, we we gave you know basically gave him a very generous tax base. Um, you know, we we were pretty honest that this isn't the number that you're likely going to get overall because, uh, for a number of reasons, um, first of all, it's unlikely that the 999 plan would go through Congress fully intact the way that that Cain has proposed it. Uh, he proposes getting rid of most deductions, most tax benefits. It's hard to see uh, Congress agreeing with that. So if you do have a plan that uh, that doesn't have um, those those elements, you're obviously going to get lower revenue. And obviously there are behavioral issues. If you put in a sales tax, people might buy less, um, which obviously gives you even lower revenue. So, so $2 trillion isn't necessarily um, what the number that is ultimately going to come in, but it's just kind of the best estimate that we were able to come up with of how much you're, this is the most that you're likely to see out of this if it were in effect during 2010. Well, Stephen, we admire the work that you and uh, your colleagues at Bloomberg Government are doing to keep these candidates honest and check them on their math at the very least. Stephen Sloan of the Bloomberg Government Analysis Team.